You know, I'm 77 years old and I'm probably the oldest living drone pilot in the state of Arizona. No, you're not. What do you mean? Because I am. What makes you say that? Because I was there when you were born. Hmm. That makes sense. Hello, we're old Mr. Kent of MrKent.com, and I just thought I'd throw that in for a chuckle, but uh, we've learned a lot from my grandson. One of the things that uh, uh, I like to do is take him out and teach him how to, uh, to fly and, and fly a drone, and I've also got a fixed wing plane. And uh, so uh, what I did was the, the first time we went out, I set uh, the maximum altitude and the uh, maximum uh, distance from the home point, and uh, let him fly, and I did. I we were sitting in the center of the circle by the home point, and so I put uh, uh, prop guards on the drone. Of course, that was a disaster. <clears throat> so uh, last week we went out again, and uh, that time I didn't put prop guards on, and uh, so uh, we were flying, and we were sitting out there in the middle, and finally he he got tired of standing up, and it was getting warm, and he said, Grandpa, why don't we just go sit over on the on the bench outside the you know, out you know he didn't know it was a circle he just sat on the bench and we did and we got outside the circle well up to that point i hadn't given it any thought because what i do is i set a maximum altitude and then i set a maximum distance from the center point and then we start flying and uh, he can't he can't lose my drone or anything but even to make it even safer his suggestion was to go sit on the bench uh, and i'll put a link to that uh, video so that's what you do if you want to t train your uh, children or grandchildren is uh, you go into settings and uh, uh, click on safety and go into uh, uh, the maximum altitude, and maximum distance and set them down to uh, a low, lower level and, um, and then take the drone off and then go sit outside the uh, distance of the, of the flight that you have set and uh, enjoy letting your uh, children play with your drone, and they really can't hurt it very much uh, because, uh, oh, and by the way, if you put it in cinematic mode, it doesn't go very fast. Well, anyway, so let's just take a look at the video I made this morning of how it works. We gotta go into settings, go to safety, and we want our maximum altitude to be about 70 feet. Okay, 72 feet ought to be good. Maximum distance, we're going to make it at about 60. Can we come down just a little bit more? I will say 65. Okay, so we got maximum distance is 65. Maximum altitude is 72. We'll go back to... And we'll start the recorder, and we'll start the uh, the drone. Take off. Okay, we'll take it off. The home point has been All right, and he's just above me here. Let's see. Let's get it down. All right. So I'm gonna walk. Over to my, let's see, let's get this up a little bit. Walk over to my chair here. And, uh, And uh, his distance is 41 feet. And here he comes. Maximum flight distance reached. And he just hit his maximum distance. So that's when he starts to go around in circles, okay? So there he is. He's at his maximum distance. Now we're going to go up all the way to the maximum altitude. So here we go. 
and that was about 70 feet. Maximum flight altitude reached. Okay. Now then, I have I have uh, plenty of satellites. You don't want to do this unless you've got plenty of satellites. Okay. And we're at maximum altitude and maximum feet. And uh, we're going to start going around the circle. Okay. You notice I walked, I walked outside the circle. So the uh, mini can't, can't uh, run into me. So I'm totally safe here. Sun's in my face. Okay, now we're going to come down to about 50 feet. Uh, right about there. Okay. So, uh, where is he? I should be able to find him. Oh, he's in the sun. No wonder. Okay, so we're going to go around the circle at 50 feet. Now we're going to come down to about 25 feet. Okay, there he is at 25 feet. I think I can just watch him fly this time. There's the sun again. All right, now we're gonna bring him down to 10 feet. He's been per perfectly safe the whole time. We'll back up and then we'll come at Mr. Kent. Here we come. Maximum flight distance reached. Oh, he turned. He's going around, going around the circle instead of running into me. So let's come back here. All right. So the important thing to remember here is that you find yourself a baseball field or a big open park and set the maximum altitude to say, I use it with my grandson, set it to 60 feet. Anyway, with my grandson, I set it to about 60 feet, maximum altitude, 60 feet, uh, maximum distance. And uh, we used to have to sit in the middle because he, he's smarter than me. And he said, we don't have to sit in here. And he's right because the the, cent the uh, takeoff point is uh, the uh, return to home point, and he circles around the return to home point. So as long as there's nobody in the park and uh, is gonna be walking around, uh, he can play with it all he wants. Like for instance, he can go like this, and uh, we'll go like that. Here, we'll just go like this. Okay, so he's gonna go across the park, and as long as there's nobody over there on the other side, um, he just goes and has fun and plays and pretty soon he gets to the maximum distance and it starts going around the circle maximum flight distance reached. so that's the way it works and uh, you can take your kids to the park and set the uh, set the limits and then step outside the circle and uh, you're perfectly safe but you do have to watch out for the other folks that might be coming to the park so let's just turn this baby around and we'll go out here and land it. Well, I hope that's been a helpful video for you. I want to thank you for watching and God bless.